Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a follow-up to the mail merge video by looking at how to select recipients. Now once we start a mail merge, the next thing that we need to do is to select our recipients. Now there are two ways to select recipients to be added to a mailing list when doing mail merge. We can type a new list or we can use an existing list. As it relates to typing a new list, if the information for the merge does not exist, we will have to create it. How do we go about doing that? In the new address list window, we would select customize columns, then add data that is relevant to your letter or delete data that is irre irrelevant. These are known as field names. When you are finished, click OK and you will be returned to the new address list window. When we are there, we enter the information corresponding to the field name, example, title, name and address information. Try to separate the names according to first name, last name and separate the address according to street, town and parish, as this is much easier to work with. Now we're going to go over to Microsoft Word to see how this is done. All right, so here I am in Microsoft Word. The first thing that I'm going to do is select. When I select mailings, I'm going to start mail merge and select letters. Then I'm going to go to select recipients. Here are the two options that we're working with. So we're looking at typing new list. I'm going to select that option. Here the new address list comes up. New entry, delete entry, find and customize columns. I'm going to select customize columns and here we have all the field names being placed. I'm going to leave what I want and take out what I do not want. If I want to move up something, I can do that as well. I'm going to delete all that does not apply to my company or as it relates to this example. All right. And then you just go through and do that. Let me see what it is that I'm working with now. So title, first name, last name. I'm going to select rename for this one. I'm going to call that street. I'm going to change address one and I'm going to rename that to town. And I'm going to rename address to, to parish. All right. And anything else I need, I would place that in. And that's all I want. I select OK. Now all the headings going across are customized according to what I just said. The next thing is for me to add my information. So Mr. Lee Smith Street 13. Cherry Tree Avenue, Town, Maypen, and Parish, Clarendon. Then I select New Entry and I'm going to add the other one. Miss Spanish tone. All right, and that's it. And this is me working in uh, Microsoft Access. This is like database that I'm working in. All right, once I'm through with this, so this is how Microsoft Word and database basically are linked together. Once I finish with this, I'm going to press OK. It is then going to prompt me to save my document and I'm going to save it accordingly. So here I have the save address list coming up. And if I save it, it's going to be saved in something known as my data sources. All right, um, I'm going to call this my new address list right and once i select save 
the options are going to be highlighted. There they are, across, and all the merge fields that I just entered will be there. I will then insert them accordingly and type my letter if I did not yet do so and select finish and merge. Okay, so the second option is to select what is called use an existing list. All right, now two ways to do this. One, it says that this will be selected if the database already exists with the information. All you will need to do is to search for the file name and select it. This list is usually saved in my data source folder. So normally the company will have the database already with all the customer's information there. So if that is the case, then when you're doing the mail merge, you will just select use existing list and search for that name that was given to that database with it with the information and select it. And automatically we'll get Microsoft Access being opened up into Microsoft Word through that data source list. Now, another option is that you can also type a table in a new Word document and save it. You will then select use existing list and search for the name that you gave to that table. So we're going to go to Microsoft Word and we're going to look at how we can do point two here, which is to type the table in Word, save it and use it in our document. All right, guys, so here I am in Microsoft Word. Um, just starting to type a table. So I have a table here and I'm just going to put in the names for the various headings. So I have last name. This is a street. Town. Parish. And balance. All right, I am just going to save this as my data source. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to give it a name, My Data Source. All right, and I'm going to save it. If I had done the folder, then I will just put it in the folder that will have all my information. All right, so here I have a letter. Well, a letter here. On it, I'm going to do my letter. So let me start off by having my date being inserted. Next thing, I'm going to go to mailings and start mail merge. I'm going to select letters and then go to select recipients and select use existing list. Now I am going to search for the information that I just created a while ago, my data source. All right, so I'm going to select that and press open. Once I do that, to the right will now become editable and I can see my merge fields there. Title, first name, last name, street town. I would insert my merge fields and it will look something like this. All right, so there you have it, guys. Three ways of selecting recipients. We spoke about them. One is to type a new list and two is to use an existing list, right? In using a, an existing list, we have two options there. We can select from a database or we can type a table in Microsoft Word and save it and use it as our existing list. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Please also share with others so that they too can benefit from the content. And please subscribe to the channel so that you do not miss any new video that I upload. Thanks for watching my video and see you in my next upload.